Hello people, in this video, let us look at what ring immunization is. Okay, so basically, it is nothing but vaccination, right? It is administering vaccine. So, immunization means obviously administering vaccine. <clears throat> but to whom you are administering? Only to the people who are in close contact okay, with an isolated infected patient. So, let us say there is an isolated and infected patient here. This guy is isolated, so obviously we cannot put him in this circle, right? So, he is an isolated infected person. <clears throat> now, whoever are in close contact with this person, those people will get vaccination, okay? So, this is ring immunization or ring vaccination. So, I am guessing that these people were in contact with him before, okay? So, this is the, these are the people surrounding an infected patient. So, these are a group of people now who are what? They are vaccinated individuals, okay? These people are vaccinated individuals. So, definitely the disease can't spread now, right? So, it will be there with this guy who is infected. What do you think, guys? So, this is ring vaccination. So, what is the principle of this? It prevents the spread of highly infectious diseases by surrounding the patient with a ring of immunization. Okay, so it is preventing the spread of the disease. Now, the disease cannot come out of this ring, correct? So, the idea is to form a buffer of immune people to prevent the spread of disease in the event of an outbreak. So, there is a buffer of immune people around this infected person. Then, you will prevent the spread of wild or infective virus. What is the procedure? So, what is the procedure? So, what we saw now for ring immunization? We have seen the principle ring immunization. We have seen the principle. Now, let us look at the procedure. Now, procedure guys, ring immunization is done following a report of vaccine preventable disease. If if it is a if the person is infected and isolated, okay, but this is this is a vaccine preventable disease, then these people who are who were in contact with this person will get the immunization. Usually, the doses are given for a population of five thousand or five villages, whichever is high. So it is not only so much, like a lot of people then. So it is about five thousand people they are saying. Five thousand people. Or five villages, whichever is high. Oh, five villages. One, two, three, four, five. Five villages or five thousand people, whichever is high. They want to do maximum. So, whichever is high. Okay, but there is no hard and fast criteria. This can be modified as per the requirement. Okay. What are the advantages of ring immunization? The advantages of ring immunization are that it controls an outbreak of an epidemic. Monitoring is easy. Monitoring is made easy, it says, can be used to protect non-immunized children also. So, if some children are not immunized, even they can get protected by this. Now, where will you use all this ring immunization? Examples, you will use it in the measles case, polio. Whenever a suspected case of polio is reported, all children below the age of 5 years, right, minimum 5,000 children in the affected area, covering the radius of 5 kilometer, are given extra dose of oral polio vaccine within 24 hours to 48 hours and again an extra dose is repeated to the same children after one month. So, if one child or any suspected case of polio comes up, okay, then what will they do? All the children below the age of 5 years, right, minimum 5000 children <clears throat> covering an area of radius 5 kilometer they will immunize these people with an extra dose of oral polio vaccine within 2 to uh, 2 days 24 hours to 48 hours and then after one month they will give an extra dose to those children again of polio okay what is the significance of ring immunization ring immunization can be compared to fire lines and forest used to prevent forest fires from spreading so they are comparing Ring immunization to forest fire, right? How to how will you protect? Now, let us say there is fire in the forest. Let's get an orange. Okay, so there is fire in the forest. What will they do? They will remove the trees, right? They will create a bare area here around the forest, right? Let, as the forest fire is spreading, spreading, they know it will come here now. What they will do at a safe distance wherever they are, they will try to 
remove the dry material and the leaves and all the trees etc for so much of area so that everything else around will get protected now from this forest fire okay so all this will remain safe so this is similar principle of ring immunization okay so in this video we have looked at ring immunization so uh, the principle of it what is the principle basically <clears throat> now you will uh, create a buffer of immune people to prevent the outbreak procedure you will uh, look at uh, five villages or 5000 people or whichever is higher advantage it will control an epidemic and uh, you can also protect non immunized children examples measles and polio in polio they have specifically told you that 5 uh, km radius all the children below 5 years are given an extra oral dose of polio within 2 uh, within 2 days and extra dose again after 1 month okay then they are comparing this to something like forest fire how you will prevent forest fire so that is all about ring immunization that's all in this community medicine topic we have looked at what ring immunization see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.